Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to introduce you to a brand new feature coming in C Sharp 13 called Implicit Index Access. Now, if you're using any sort of data structure that accepts an indexer, whether that is an array, a list or anything else really, this feature applies to you and it makes a very specific use case significantly easier. Now, part of the feature already existed since C Sharp 8, and I'm going to explain what that is. But in C Sharp 13, finally, it becomes very, very useful with this feature. So let's take a look at what it is. If you like the content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training. Check out my courses on domtrain.com. OK, so let me show you first the operator before I show you how the operator works with this new feature. So in C Sharp, you can have the following. Let's say I have an array like this. Now, what if I want to get the last item in this array? Now, clearly here I can see it, so I know it's 20, but what if this array lives somewhere else and I have to programmatically get the last item or the item before the last? Because you might say, Haha, Nick, if I want to get the last item, I'll just say dot last and use link. And that works great. I'm glad you know link. And actually, if you want to know more about link and know every single method there is to know link, we actually just launched a course on link on Dome Train. It's a full four hour course and it covers everything. And I want to remind you that it is Dome Train's first birthday and we're celebrating it with a discount that is at the level that we usually do on Black Friday. So as good as it possibly gets. Until the 30th of April, you can use discount code birthday40 to get 40% off any course, birthday20 to get 20% off the already discounted bundles we have and you can use birthday 15 to get 15% off your first year of Dome Train Pro. The annual subscription that gives you access to all of our courses. Do not miss this opportunity. Invest in your future now. Back to the video. But as you're going to see here, I can also just say, you know, give me the, wait, 0, 1, 2, give me the third item. That's fine. Or I can calculate it by saying value.length minus 1. And this should give me, as you can see over here, the last item of this array. So very quickly, I'm going to just run this and I'm going to get 20. However, there is a refactoring suggested here, which if I say what you want to do is say use index from end expression. So what is this index for end expression? Well, you can use this unary, this hat operator and turn this into an index. As you can see, my method here accepts an index, not a number, not an integer, a type index, which is a read only struct which basically this reads, give me the first from the end. Now, why not zero to get the first from the end? Well, because Microsoft decided to copy Python with this sort of thing. So that's basically why that's the reason. In fact, uh, Matt Storgensen, the designer of C Sharp, has confirmed this. And that has been fine if I just want to get, you know, the last item. Or if I want to get the second to last item, I can say value and I don't have to know the size of the array. All I need to say is give me the second from the end and I'm going to get printed. But now let's do the following. I'm going to create a new class over here. I'm going to call it example and I'm going to have a public int array called just array because I'm really bad at creativity and it's going to be an array of five items. And then I go up here and I say example equals new example and I want to initialize my array here. Now, I've changed this project to be a .NET 8 project with .NET 8 on the project as well and the solution. So what you can do here is you can say set the first item to be 1, the second item to be 2, and so on and so forth. So if I was to use the same values, I have something like this. However, what I can't do is I can't say array.length minus one if I just want to set the last items. So use the from end logic in here. And of course, I can't use the from end operator. So I can't say something like this, for example. Now, the compiler will allow it and the compiler will allow it or it will look like it allows it because Rider is using sort of a front end analysis compiler uh, to do all its static analysis. But that is not necessarily true when I use the real compiler. So if I go and I say build it, I'm getting errors saying, hey, this is currently in preview and it is unsupported. You can't use this feature. To use this feature, I have to opt in to C Sharp 13. And to do that, I can say lang version. I can say preview. And the moment I do that and I go ahead and I compile, then 
it works. And of course, because of how C-sharp versions work and .NET and how they default in different versions, I don't have to use .NET 9 to use this feature. All I have to say is use the preview version of C-sharp and that's it. And now it is supported. So basically what this new feature is, is that the from end operator, this little hat operator, is now allowed on object initializer expressions. That is it. It is very small. It is very minor. These use cases, I think, are very narrow, but it is now an option and it is one of the features advertised for C Sharp 13. Is it a significant big feature you're going to be using? Probably not, but it is an option now because I see many people working on games or do image processing and so on. And those lower level developers work heavily with arrays and I can see that being a very useful thing to have. But now I want to know from you, which C Sharp 13 feature are you most looking forward to? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, keep coding.